Farts. What are they? Why do we fart? Why do they smell bad? And is there such a thing as farting too much? And is there any truth to that idea that holding them in is bad for your health? This is Everything Explained. Farts. Nameless. Farts are those smelly clouds of mostly nitrogen that come out of our bodies on a daily basis. And everyone farts. Every day. In fact, the average person lets out about a liter of gas per day, mostly in their sleep. Farts, aka gas, aka toots, aka flatulence, aka breaking wind, aka cutting the cheese, aka bottom burps, whatever you call them. They're made up of mainly nitrogen, hydrogen, and a bit of carbon dioxide and methane, and a tiny bit of oxygen. The sound of a fart is caused by vibrations in the rectal opening. And the sound gas makes really depends on the speed of the gas leaving your body plus the shape of the sphincter at the time the gas gets released. So the tighter the sphincter, the more high-pitched and squeaky the fart will be. And if it's loose, then you'll probably have a lower fart. And the smell? That comes from the minuscule amounts of ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, and, well, excrement, which can be smelled at one part per 100 million parts air. About 75% of your farts are produced by the bacteria in your lower intestine. A fart is created when food passes through your stomach and small intestines without completely being broken down, which means that by the time it hits your large intestines, it's undigested. So the bacteria in your large intestines starts to break it down in a process called fermentation. And this process produces gases like carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane, which make up our farts. And it's true what they say, some foods do make you produce more gas than others. Carbonated drinks, of course, encourage wind breaking since they contain carbon dioxide already. And then, of course, legumes like beans and lentils. Legumes make you gassy because they contain poorly absorbed sugars that get broken down in the fermentation process. But is it possible to produce too much gas? And if so, why? It is possible to overdo it on the gas. And to find out why, a medical professional will most likely recommend keeping a food journal to see if you're eating foods correlated with high gas production. And while some foods are generally linked to more gas production, like broccoli and cabbage, some people are more gas sensitive to them than others. In which case, you could take a supplement that contains digestive enzymes to help break down those hard to digest foods. Anxiety could also cause you to swallow more air, which is why some people pass gas when they're nervous. Meanwhile, lifestyle habits like chewing gum, eating too fast, drinking with a straw, and smoking can increase your air consumption, which can result in more air from your dairy air. In which case, you may want to not chew gum or use straws, quit smoking, and slow down and enjoy your meals to prevent excess flatulence. You may be tempted to hold your farts in, but that's not a great idea. While holding your farts in is generally harmless, it can cause a lot of discomfort as it creates an air buildup that eventually gets pushed up, resulting in bloating. So remember, breaking wind is as normal as breathing. We all do it. But if lifestyle changes don't make a difference in your flatulence production, then it could mean something else is amiss, and you should see a doctor. What do you want us to explain next? Let us know in the comments. Nameless.